What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering, continuing my grind from the RNC in Milwaukee. Got to run into a lot of people yesterday, get a lot of on-the-ground reports from people uh, in the know, and uh, still doing my job. So I'll be live every day as planned at 1 Eastern, as well as multiple additional streams. Tonight, I will be on TimCast IRL, uh, reminding everybody there to watch my live stream at 1 Eastern. So if you're watching tonight, you know, let everyone know who I am and that they should follow Quartercast or the quartering on Rumble. Don't be be respectful though, but just uh, you know, I need your support. I need to get uh, I need to get Timmy to help me. You know, to help wake people up to the Mean Green website, the site where I can talk about stuff completely unfiltered. That said, let's get into it. I'm actually on Tim's on Friday twice too. I'll be on Tim's at least three times this week. So should be a, a good time. Now, as much as I don't want to give any kind of, you know, shine to the to the human garbage that did this, I think just as it's important we discuss those in charge of protecting the man, we discuss how we got here and who is ultimately responsible for what happened. And... I think that, uh, you know, there's two people responsible. It's the security detail, which had apparently systemic failures from the top down. And obviously also the loser piece of garbage uh, who did it. Now, new details about their cell phone, about their movements that day, about what their job was. And now the new media desperate attempt to say, oh, he was a conservative. You know what I say to that? I don't know a lot of conservatives that jo- donated to Joe Biden two years ago. You know what I mean? People do change, right? Like people change their political leanings over time. Everyone has. I have, right? I started out as true blue, you know, free speech, anti big pharma, liberal, love the planet. Now I still am all those same things, but apparently that makes you a conservative these days. So sometimes you move, sometimes the window moves, but ultimately, um, you know, there, there's this desperate attempt to say, but he was a Republican. Look at this article we're going to talk about. Oh, he was definitely a conservative. Says what? In high school? Do a lot of high school. There's a lot of high school conservatives that you know. A lot of highly political high schoolers. CNN says that he went to the range, a store, and then purchased a ladder. All on that day, by the way. Which is wild. Why wouldn't you have purchased it before? But let's look at in the 48 hours. Okay, the 48 hours. The 48 hours before the event, the 20-year-old loser piece of garbage made a series of stops in his round in his rounds around suburban Pittsburgh hometown. On Friday, he went to the range where he is a member and practiced. A law enforcement official told CNN. The next morning, he went to Home Depot where he bought a five-foot ladder uh, and then a store where he got some ammo. Then he drove his Hyundai Sonata about an hour north, joining thousands of people from around the region who flocked to Trump's rally in Butler, Pennsylvania. He parked the car outside the rally with a device hidden in the trunk that was wired to a transmitter that he carried. So he had, I assume, some sort of plans of of destroying the car or anybody surrounding the car. I don't know if he had like purposely parked the car around a large group of people. I don't know. I don't know if the device would even have worked. Oftentimes, most of these like <laughs> you know improvised devices don't actually work or they go off much later. There was a guy in my neighborhood or like right across the street that like <laughs> lost his arm to, to screwing around with stuff like that. So I, I don't know if it would have worked, but it was obviously there. Um, then investigators believe he used his newly bought ladder to scale a nearby building and do what he did. By the way, that building, as I reported earlier, uh, was full of cops, according to a local report. According to a local report, that building was full of law enforcement, full to the brim of law enforcement. I don't know. There was, it says there were law enforcement in the building. That might've been two. Well, you put one of them on the roof, maybe, huh? Um, the investigators continue to search for a motive behind it. Are you joking? 
perhaps the eight straight years of this guy is literally the bad guy from WW2. Uh, maybe a constant drip of, you know, insane rhetoric from the Democratic Party talking about this will be the last election you ever vote in or, you know, all this kind of unhinged stuff that uh, they talked about. Maybe that was part of it. Now, 48 hours after the event, investigators are struck by the lack of leads they're finding about his mindset and possible motives. But what do you mean? The left wing media said he's a conservative. They know that. They know that much. They put that out there. Even after successfully getting into his phone, searching his computer, scouring his search history and bedroom, interviewing his family and friends, not a single shred of evidence. Now, I've been hanging out a little bit with Luke Rudkowski, so perhaps he's rubbing off on me a little bit in this, in this direction. But um, does that seem normal to you? Does it seem normal to you that... There isn't a single search history, not a single, they can't find a shred of evidence in his cell phone, his computer, his house, his room, nothing. 20 year old kid, not a single search for where to buy a ladder, not a single search for how to find that location, not a single search for any of that. They found nothing. Instead, it appears they have found appears to be typical online activity, including an interest in computer coding and gaming, the sources say, which has raised more questions uh, in the sign that his um, uh, acts could have been more destructive. He also had a remote control detonator, um, all this kind of stuff that suggests that he had been planning and off uh, to set off something else remotely. And investigators are considering the theory that he may have been planning a distraction during the event. It's unclear how he assembled the devices found in his car. Investigators parsing through his online search history hadn't found a single indication of him researching how to do this. Now, maybe he had a, you know, he had a uh, burner phone or he had, you know, some others, you know, stuff like that. There's a wide variety of reasons you might not have found, you know, anything super concrete there. Like there's just a, there's a wide variety of reasons. Um, now, him and his father were a member of a, a range. Not That's not a big deal. The club has 2,000 members. Again, the club fully admonishes a senseless. Why should they even have to, you know, why is everybody, like, why is Demolition Ranch have to disavow this idiot? You know, it's not his job to do that. Some dude bought his T-shirt and he wore it to do while he was doing something horrible. He was, we was he wearing Nikes too? Did Nike have to issue a statement? No. You know, again, why is Home Depot have none of these people should have to defend selling a ladder to some guy that they obviously didn't know. But now his phone yields no clues. But you know what he did? He was a nurse's aide. Apparently riding high on the, you know, you see crook. He was a uh, loser, was a one time registered Republican, a nursing home worker with no record, shy in school and living in a decent middle class neighborhood. Absolutely not one single shred of evidence anywhere the, am I the only one that thinks that's bonkers? Of course you see here now, um, the, his, uh, the losers classmates describe him, uh, as quiet as they search for motive. None of my friends can fathom that a dude that we knew would do this former, uh, Pennsylvania classmates say few people clapped when the slender bespectacled loser was handed his diploma. Former peers have spoken out. Um, you know, saying that he was an outcast, who was bullied, this, that, and the other stuff. Okay. Why are these, why is the left-wing media establishment saying this kind of stuff, right? Uh, the, uh, the loser was definitely a conservative. Definitely. At 20 years old. Definitely. I, is, I mean, what? Because someone registered as that? And then happened to donate money to Joe Biden a few weeks. Ago. What is the what is the most likely scenario is that this guy is just a weirdo lunatic, okay? But somehow that weirdo lunatic outsmarted the entire Secret Service and hundreds and hundreds of cops, right? "Quote: He was definitely a conservative, um, despite his various theories." Max R. Smith, former classmate of Kirk's uh, loser, said. 
Uh, he was definitely conservative. It makes me wonder why he would carry out something like that, said Smith in an interview with the Philadelphia Inquirer. Well, here's the thing. There are never Trumpers who are conservative. That's a real thing. I mean, Nikki Haley had people who wanted to vote for her. Um, I mean, even, you know, some of the you know down ballot people, you know, I mean, there were definitely people that were um, DeSantis voters. I don't know if they were what I would call never Trumpers. They just like preferred DeSantis for, for some level. But those people all had voters. And so they would be conservatives. They're absolutely conservatives that don't like Trump. Like that's de definitely true. But the fact that if you look a week after turn eight, turning 18 and becoming an eligible voter, he registered as a Republican in Pennsylvania's voter database. OK, so this is the timeline. So a week after turning 18, he registered. Then three years later, so definitely nobody can grow or change their political ideology in three years. He donated money to President Joe Biden. That doesn't sound like a conservative to me. It does not. Why would he have donated that money? Right. By the way, I don't think I've don ever donated money to a political candidate. I certainly wouldn't be donating to a Democrat. So is it is anybody surprised that, wow, we went through his phone, we found nothing. You know, we went through, you know, earlier in the day, we know when he bought stuff, he moved, we know how he moved around and he, he purchased different things and things of that nature. But other than that, they know nothing. The dad called sometime on Saturday to report that his son was missing along with roughly 20 weapons. Oop, that's kind of a big detail. Why did he only have one? Where did the other 19 go? Dad called PD Saturday to report um, about 25 minutes south of Pittsburgh. Meanwhile, Jim Knapp, who retired from his job as a school counselor in Bethel Park, said that he had always been quiet as a church mouse, respectful. Well, this is pretty. Uh, but he also said kids weren't calling him names and kids weren't bullying him. So everyone's out there just spreading their own weird narrative around this, which is exactly what you would want if this person was, I don't know, an asset. Obviously, I can't know that for sure. Probably never know that. I'll file it away with whatever happened in Las Vegas. But I will keep reporting on this. So if you can, definitely subscribe or follow down below. And we'll talk to you again real soon.